Hello and welcome to the Stuff of Legends, the Marvel Legends team, Ryan and Dwight, back with you for a special first in-hand look at the Spider-Man No Way Home 3-pack. If you guys watched our last live stream, you might have seen this package tucked uh, cleverly away, hopefully cleverly in the back, <laughs> but maybe you saw it and that piqued your interest. So guys, we are back. We have an awesome uh, sample in hand to take you through. This is a really exciting Pulse exclusive. It was one of, I think, their most popular kind of reveals last year, and it went up for pre-order, and now we finally can show you with some glorious in-hand samples and some fancy uh, PR images as well. So first, a look at the packaging. This is the uh, awesome box that our um, team, Ben and, and Sean, worked on the layouts. You've got the three Peters here and their action pose atop the Statue of Liberty there. So this will kind of come in your standard now three pack box with some nice side panel art. And we've already gone through the trouble. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna get into the figures. So let's just jump right in. First up, we've got the Spider-Man integrated suit. Why does he look so good? When I first saw this, I was blown away and I couldn't quite put my finger on it and I had to think about well, it. Well, we had the benefit to actually seeing the film getting a chance to dial in the colors to be more film accurate. And we went back and added in all of the recessive web detailing that we didn't do on the previous version. So uh, the last time it was just the red shadows casting the uh, web lines. Now they're all fully painted top to bottom all the way throughout the figure. Uh, this time he has two new wall crawling hands and he still has two fists and two thwip hands for all the posing configurations you need. Other than that, it's everything you would expect and you remember from the previous one. It's all the double pinless uh, elbows uh, for the knees and arms, and it's got the ab crunch and butterfly rockers. That's right. We spared no expense for this Pulse 3 pack. We wanted to make it the best experience. So as you'll remember, right, all the Spider-Man figures, three sets of hands, six total hands, uh, as well as some web lines. Um, the premium deco on this version of Spider-Man that we've never before been able to do all over, you see from the legs to the chest to the head to the back, kind of those really nice, rich black lines. That's why the figure looks so good. All right, next up is The Amazing Spider-Man. So he is my favorite Spider-Man that I've ever worked on. I think he is the best one we've delivered so far. It has uh, all of the super articulation from the rocker to the inverted crunch to the butterflies to the double pinless elbows and legs. He has swappable hands, as Ryan just said. Everybody gets them. So we also get the get out of there. We have the alternate uh, thwip wall crawling uh, punch hands. So the full assortment of six and his design of the costume is faithfully recreated from the film. And as you can see, as you spin this thing around, he's got the uh, logo on his chest as well as on his back. He is done in a little bit more of a metallic uh, sheen. So it's a really, really solid offering and uh, my, uh, my favorite one so far. Friendly, friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man, which you see here, all of the hands, too, have the sculpted detail of the lines. So they're, they're raised. Yes. And they're decoed. Yes. So I wanted to call that out, you know, all six hands, they look great, as you can see them here, for The uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And then rounding out this three-pack is The Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Once again, the colors of the costume have been faithfully recreated. He comes with the alternate hands, the same as the, all the other ones. They are slightly different uh, poses for the wall crawlers, just because we thought it was fun to mix it up so that they weren't all you know, identical. They do have a different type of uh, a shape to his hands, but it, you know, it serves the purpose of that. Differences of this one versus the other Spider-Men. Um, this one has a silver metallic web and a black metallic logo to his chest spider. Um, that was one of the differences to the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. The web lines weren't actually black, they were a dark silver color. So as you can see, that's what we have tried to recreate here. Um, articulation system is the same as the uh, Spider-Man that we just went through. Uh, double pinless arms and legs, uh, rocker, inverted ab crunch, uh, post head, and uh, butterfly shoulders. So. Um, everything you would need from a Spider-Man. They also, what I forgot to mention, is they have the drop-down uh, hip, so the, the leg can drop down a little bit more for better range of motion going forward. So there's that extra kind of a hidden articulation point in the hips. In both? In both, yeah, in that both allow the... for a little bit extra um, leg posing, which is, you know, if you're gonna put it on a figure, Spider-Man is a great one to, a great candidate for that. So that's what we did. Also, I, I do want to call out for the uh, 
friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here, Dwight was talking about how the lines are a dark silver. Sometimes in some of the photos, depending on how the light catches it, it can kind of reflect a little bit. Mm -hmm. So they are not like white. Right. They are this kind of dark silvery. So it just depends on your whole lighting situation. But as you see here, the three of them all lined up. And I think in some of our images, we've got some nice combo shots. All three Spider-Man figures are unique and accurate to their on-screen representations. Limited quantities of this three pack are gonna be available again for pre-order on the Hasbro Pulse. So go check that out. If you didn't get the pre-order the first time around, limited quantities are available now. So check back on the Hasbro Pulse. Yeah, No Way Home. It's, it's a movie that is super important and uh, you know, we keep going back to it. There might be more, might there be some more No Way Home stuff in the future on the I docket? Would, I would think so. Yeah, it yeah. was such a big film. So you'll have, to, you'll have to stay tuned for more about that. But this was your look at the No Way Home Marvel Legends 3-pack. We hope you like it, and we can't wait for you guys to get it later this year. Thanks for watching.